The Town Without Me, or Erased, is a fantasy thriller where main character Satoru Fujinuma unintentionally goes back in time to prevent his mother and classmates from being murdered. It's a story of abuse and regret, and it's one of my favorite shows of all time. This is the show that got me into anime as a whole, so I hold it in high regard. But there was an aspect that always annoyed me, and it was the fact that Yashiro was so obviously the killer from the very beginning. I feel like a disconnected killer would work better in a story that isn't so personal, but since Erased is such a personal story, the killer would have to be connected to the main plot. You can't reveal Joe Schmo was the killer after 10 episodes, I don't think that would be a good payoff. After rewatching the show a few times, it occurred to me that the main focus here isn't the mystery. Well, okay, the mystery is the main focus, but I was looking at it wrong. The main story here serves as a story of perspective. Let me explain. I think there are three parts to a mystery. Problem, clues, and denouement, or the unraveling. At the start, a problem must be displayed. In episode 1, it's established that there's an unsolved murder case that was presumably connected with Sachiko Fujinuma's death. In the end, Yashiro exposes himself to Satoru and explains his motives. The denouement. But a thing that seems to be missing are all the clues. Rather than going around searching for clues, Satoru is trying to make sure that the murders don't happen in the first place. There are some coincidences and clues that seem to find him, but overall, they're usually used as an excuse to reposition Kayo. After all, if he can protect the victims until their initial murder day passes, they should all be safe. Satoru does try to uncover the killer at some points in the series, but first and foremost, he's there to save the victims and in turn, save his mom. Due to that, Erase doesn't tell a story of uncovering a murderer, it instead tells a story about saving a victim. Exhibit A, Jun Kazama Innocent. Yeah, okay. Satoru grew up as an only child to a single mother, and despite that, he had role models to look up to. Jun acted as an older brother to Satoru and always tried to instill confidence in him and the other kids around the area. Once children started disappearing, investigators took in Jun as a main suspect with little to no evidence other than the fact that people around the area thought he was unemployed and spent his days messing with kids. He was employed though, he just worked early mornings at a family business, so he had the rest of the day to himself. Satoru never thought of Jun as a murderer and even try to defend him when questioned, but to no avail. Even after all those years, Satoru never believed that Jun could have done such a thing. Since he believes Jun was falsely accused, he tries his best to set up an alibi on the days leading up to the disappearances. In this redux timeline, Satoru's perception led him on a path of protecting the convicted murderer instead of attempting to stop him. Nobody knows who the actual killer is, and the smallest pieces of evidence actually found all point to Jun. So for all intents and purposes, Jun shouldn't be trusted, but he is, by the person who would call him an older brother. Exhibit B, Aidi, uh, I don't, I don't have a good joke for this one. Aidi is Satoru's, all these names, man. Katagiri is Satoru's co-worker introduced in episode one. She's a really in-your-face peppy girl who acts as a younger sister or possible love interest to him in the main timeline. I don't know why. They just have that kind of relationship. During the moments when Satoru is avoiding the police, Katagiri did so much to help him, including, but not limited to, punching her manager in the face, letting him stay at her uncle's house as a location police wouldn't check, and shutting off his phone so the police couldn't track him. She goes through such great lengths because as a kid, her dad was falsely accused of stealing and it threw her life out of whack. She seems naive when she speaks about trust. To her, trust is something that you'd want to have for somebody, no matter the circumstances. For all she knows, this trust that she has for Satoru can get her in trouble with the police or end up getting her killed. Despite that, she still chooses to believe Satoru because she can't get behind the idea of him killing his own mother. This is a scenario where Katagiri shouldn't really trust him the same way Satoru shouldn't have trusted Jun, but she does. Trust nearly gets her killed, and she still trusts Satoru 
when she gets targeted by the killer who, for all she knows, could still be him. Exhibit C. Yashiro about this... Yashiro? Yashiro? Yasho? But... <laughs> Yashiro was Satoru's homeroom teacher and was like a father figure to him. Unlike Jun, who always wanted to encourage the kids he spoke to, Yashiro seemingly always knew what to say and knew how to comfort the kids. He already had an idea that Kaio's mother was abusive, but couldn't do much about the situation. For the most part, every step Satoru took to protect her would include Yashiro in some way. He helped hold Kayo and Satoru up after class so their friends could set up the surprise party, and he also helped getting the Child Welfare Center involved when Kayo was returned to her mother. A plan he didn't know about was the plan to hide her in an out of commission bus rather than at Satoru's own home. Satoru would have never anticipated Yashiro to be connected to the murderers in any way. Oh fuck, after all, that was his father figure. But with all this information he had to take into account, he kept blocking Yashiro out of his mind. The killer had to be somebody who knew Kaio's home life, Satoru's mom, knew all three of the victims, understood the connections Jun had with the children around the area, and about the abandoned bus that nobody really paid any mind to. Hell, when Satoru was taking Yashiro's advice and followed another main timeline victim, Yashiro just so happened to be right around the corner to help Satoru and his mom with groceries. Yashiro was doing a really good job at keeping cover, but Satoru had years of experience and practically lived through all of the information being released. He simply just didn't want to see his father figure as a killer. I think the fact that it focused on relationships rather than the mystery itself made the show a lot better than it could have been, honestly. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you still don't like it because the mystery was too easy. I don't really mind either way. If it was a good mystery, if it was a good mystery on top of all this character building, I would still like it. But if the mystery were to disrupt some of the character building moments, then I think I would rather just not have the mystery at all. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe. I'm thinking about doing more anime content in the future. Uh... And definitely more gaming content, since, you know, I, I play those quite a lot, more than I watch anime. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.